During this presentation, I will be discussing the difference between the product information that is encoded in ISBT-128 data structures versus what actually appears on an ISBT-128 label as text. The delivery mechanism is the means by which the information is represented in a machine-readable manner. 2D data matrix and code 128 barcodes are delivery mechanisms routinely used in the ISBT-128 standard to convey ISBT-128 data structures. It is necessary to make a distinction between the information that is encoded in the delivery mechanism versus what is printed on a label as text. There are various reasons to display different text. For example, there may be specific national and or regulatory requirements on how label text should appear. In some instances, there may be spatial constraints due to label size for smaller containers, or label text may be printed in different languages. An example can be found in the information encoded for the blood attribute for residual leukocyte content. The label text displays leukocytes reduced. However, if you were to scan the product barcode, the residual leukocyte content attribute encoded for product description code E0311 is ResLU less than 5E6. Another example commonly occurs with cell therapy labels. The volume for cell therapy products may vary. The actual volume is not encoded and actual volume information can be printed or handwritten on the label as text. The product volume encoded in the barcode is the value XX. XX specifies that the volume is variable and not provided as part of the core conditions of the product description. Other volume information may be given as additional label text. In summary, it is important to understand the distinction between the information that is encoded versus what is printed to help further understand the ISBT-128 standard and alleviate confusion during ISBT-128 implementation. Disclaimer: The expertise of ICC BBA staff is limited to the ISBT-128 standard. Users are advised to consult regulatory authorities in their own countries for information regarding regulations and authorities from voluntary accrediting organizations for information concerning standards other than ISBT-128. Regulatory requirements supersede requirements of the ISBT-128 standard. If you have any questions or comments regarding the information in this presentation, or anything ISBT-128 related, you can contact the ICBA Help Desk at ICCBBA at ICCBBA.org.